There are huge negative equity problems in store for car buyers in 2023 and beyond. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Now, friends, because hundreds of you request our help every day with buying a car, we've been helping you out. But do you remember us saying wait until June, right? That's right, we did say that, Kevin. And why did we say it? Well, for two reasons. Number one, new car inventory finally starting to catch up and it's on a growth trend to hit near 2 million units by June. And secondly, there are also lots of leased vehicles coming due around the same time that were leased back in 2019. It should bring a fresh batch of well cared for, high quality used cars available back in the used car market. So here's what's happening right now. There are more people than ever who have a monthly car payment at $1,000 a month or more. Not only is that completely financially crazy, but I can tell you that every one of those people paid a ton more than those vehicles were actually worth. I'm speaking specifically for where that worth is headed. Yes, because people might argue that used cars are actually worth more right now than they historically were. And some wanted to say that long recognized rates of depreciation of new cars aren't accurate at the moment. Well, that opinion is very short-sighted, very <laughs> short-sighted. Indeed it is. When NADA starts reporting that they have serious concerns about car buyers stuck with huge amounts of negative equity on their cars, you know there's a looming disaster and a day of reckoning coming from many who pulled the trigger at the wrong time. Liz, you've been pretty smart when it comes to investing, right? Sure. To discuss a smart investment, when's a good time to buy a stock? Well, you start by studying stock charts and identifying trends. Do a bad job and you're going to lose a ton of money. Exactly. And what are you looking for exactly? Financial stability of the stock and what the potential for growth is. Growth. Bingo. So, in other words, you don't buy a stock when all signs point to the fact that it's going down, that it's going to crash? Not unless you want to lose a ton of money. A few clueless people are wondering right now, what's all this talk about stock and what does it have to do with buying cars? It has a lot to do with buying cars, friends. It matters because negative equity in cars only happens when somebody puts a want in front of logic and decides to buy something, invest their money in other words, in a rapidly depreciating car in the midst of a crashing car market. It's financial suicide. It's no different than buying a stock when the market is about to crash. There's a reason the rich keep getting richer and the poor keep getting poorer. Indeed. You can't keep making bad emotional decisions with your money and expect to accumulate any wealth. We recommended to wait until June to buy a car, new or used, because of the two factors Kevin mentioned. Car inventory finally being high enough and fresh used cars entering the car market from lease returns. The car market in just a few short months will be that much lower that your odds of minimizing your losses in a car purchase becomes that much better. Friends, the used vehicle wholesale prices will continue to fall through 2023 as the effects of the coronavirus pandemic fades. NADA's top economist said negative equity could become a new point of concern in the automobile industry. Yes, NADA chief economist Patrick Manzi said on the recent press conference, I've heard some anecdotal stories and I'm sure many of the dealers out here have their own anecdotal stories as well as about people coming in very underwater. This is going to be one of those things that I am paying close attention to. Manzi anticipates fleet sales, a key indicator of improving new car inventory, will rise this year as vehicle availability improves with an estimated 2 million to 2.1 million fleet vehicles projected to be sold in 2023. That would be a nice increase from his estimate of 2022. Fleet buyers have been starved for cars. They haven't been able to get the amount of inventory they would like. Even if we were to see some sort of consumer pullback on the retail side, there are plenty of fleet buyers out there willing to take those vehicles. Dealers are counting on that actually to be the case. Some experts say that they think incentives will remain relatively low in 2023 with a rebound around year's end. We think there's a decent chance of seeing some incentives come summertime and growing steadily into the fall and winter. There are some incentives out there for a few brands right now, but by and large, incentives are still very low. Patrick Manzi at NADA agrees that incentives should grow a bit higher through 2023, however, as the vehicle supply improves. Inventory drives this and it's going up. There are improvements ahead in the car market that are totally worth waiting for, friends. Many experts are reporting that they think prices have already stabilized, but we think that information is nothing more than smoke and mirrors to keep buyers in the market at these high prices. It's the media in cahoots with dealers and they're tricking you and nobody should fall for it. That's right. At the same time that some say the prices are at a place where they're going to stay, in December, experts at accounting and advisory firm 
KPMG warned that used vehicle prices could fall abruptly and raise negative equity issues once new vehicle supply rebounds, saying retail used prices could plunge by 20 to 30 percent. That's a pretty big shift in the story, and that's oh, yeah. consistent with what we're seeing. And NADA saying that they are concerned about negative equity problems facing car buyers could only result from prices continuing to fall and fall by a lot. We said in a recent show that we see another 30% coming, and it looks like accounting firm KPMG agrees with us. We'll be right back after this message from our very own Mary Jo. Hello, I am Mary Jo from the Homework Guy team. Don't Kevin and Elizabeth do a great job? We are so proud of every show our team puts out, carefully researched for accuracy and designed to help car buyers just like you. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell so you get notifications of upcoming shows. Thank you for listening. And by the way, if you haven't already noticed, check out the light pattern on our ceiling. Pretty cool, huh? Hey, when a finance man starts saying a problem is coming, you know a problem is coming. James Ayers, Senior Finance Manager of Mercedes-Benz of Macon in Georgia, is reported to have said he anticipates challenges ahead when customers buy vehicles for $10,000 over sticker today and find that similar new models will cost $10,000 less in three years. You are going to be upside down, Ayers warned. That's precisely what we're saying. Think ahead, folks. What are the odds that you might be back in the car market in three to five years? Like nearly 100% chance for many of you? Yeah. If you pay the prices that many dealers still have their cars listed at, and as we shared recently, 2020, 2021, and 2022, cars are the most ridiculously priced right now in the market. When people report to us, we're not seeing prices come down in our area, most of the time that car shopper is looking at used cars in the last three years. And trust me when I say it's not just that those used cars are overpriced in your area, it's a universal problem all around the United States. Right. A thought occurred to me as we were putting this report together. You know how we've said, consider going outside your area or crossing state lines to get a better deal? Well, I think we need to add this strategy. Do some additional homework on who owns the dealership too, and then make sure you're shopping in a different dealer network with different ownership too. Kevin, that's precisely what I was thinking too. The only way there could be so much consistency in high prices throughout a region is that one dealer group owns all the dealerships in the area, so they don't care much if you leave. You're likely to be forced to do business with their sister organization down the road, and they will show you the same overpriced cars and bad attitude over there. If you missed our two shows on 2020, 2021, and 2022 cars, make sure you go back and watch them. It's very critical that you understand how high these cars are priced and how terrible the quality is of those cars too. Most dealers are continuing to thumb their noses at consumers, so I sincerely hope that you've taken what we've said today very seriously. If you'd like to show THG some love for producing quality car market updates and honest car buying advice videos like this one, the links appearing on the screen will be easy to find in the description box down below. There's also the super thanks button down below the video too. If a tip isn't an option for you right now, don't worry about it the least bit. Just show us some love by subscribing and recommending our videos to your family and friends. And as some of our viewers state, we watched every ad in the show. <laughs> that helps too. And we thank you very much for that. I also want to remind our viewers that we're providing free black book values for a vehicle you're shopping for or the vehicle you'd like to trade in. You can text us at 701-441-3399 or email kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com and you'll get an auto response with a roadmap to a successful car deal. Just be patient waiting for a response, please. We get tons of requests and we are helping you for free. Keep that in mind. If you're walking the car lots right now, make sure you see Kevin's newest playlist, Car Market Prep Work to help you mentally prepare to do battle with car dealers. And if you happen to be on Facebook, drop by and give us a like and a follow. And don't forget to visit our website too, thehomeworkguy.com. We've loaded it up with free resources for car buyers, and we now offer a blog post there too. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guy channel, as Mary Jo said, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Join our fast-growing group of subscribers and become a part of our family. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. And to all of our faithful subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.